Carnival 2019 in Forge of Empires. The Carnival event already became a permanent part of the Forge of Empires event calendar. It will start shortly after the Forge Bowl event. I assume this will happen on February 16th, 2019, so that the event will end on the morning of March 6th, 2019, which is Ash Wednesday. We already know the basic concept from the previous years. In the beginning, every player receives 11 tickets. Each ticket allows you to participate in one game. If you have less than 11 tickets in stock, they regenerate automatically comparable to Forge Points. Therefore, you should at least use your 11th ticket immediately, so that the regeneration is not interrupted. You have the choice between three different games. A sort of Lock the Lucas provides 10 florins for each game. Florins are an old coin from the Toscana in Italy. This reward never changes and it is guaranteed that you will receive it. This is comparable to a gumball machine. This isn't gambling, the reward is guaranteed, but always very small. Alternatively, you can play a shell game. Already at the beginning, a much higher reward is making this attractive. But here you only have a chance to win of 15%. The calculation is very simple. 15% times 50 florins are 7.5 florins, which is worse than the first game. But if you don't win, the possible reward is increased by 10 florins. The more you lose, the higher the reward will climb. This is why this game is much more profitable than the first game. A third game with a toy boat race extends this even. Now the chance to win is only 5%, but the initial reward of 100 florins is increased by another 15 florins every time you fail. If you would be the only player in the game, this would be the most profitable game independent of how often you might lose, with every loss your reward grows by 15 florins. But you are playing against your neighbors. Those can disturb you. Some are just sitting there waiting that you might increase the reward and then they start. The problem is that at a given time you only have a maximum of 11 tickets or best case 16 immediately after completing a quest. This is only a 50% chance to get the increased reward. And this can even shrink because of other players. On the other side you can benefit from other players' losses. As a result, this game is something for players who like the high risk, hoping to get a huge reward but knowing they could end with nothing. For 20 florins you can buy a double chance to win. This is an option for all those who wait for the others to increase the reward to more than 400 florins. Then they start and thanks to their double chance, they might get the reward. By the way, the neighborhood will not change during this event. Different to previous carnival events, this time the league system will also be applied here. This provides some extra rewards in the end. Those who are not willing to take too many risks should collect tickets until the limit of 11. Then play the second game until you win, in case you are planning a longer time without being locked into the game. Spend all remaining tickets with game 1. 
it is very likely to get a reward playing game 2 with 11 tickets and this should happen in average every 7th time. For completing carnival quests you either receive tickets or florins. Use your florins to buy one of the two chests being offered at the bottom of that window. Each chest contains a random reward from the assigned list. You also can see the chance related to each item of that list. The price of a chest depends on its content. The picture shows a sorted list of the chests. You always see what you can win and you should wait until the desired special price becomes available. There are red, green, blue and golden chests with prices getting significantly higher from the red to gold. The other content of the chest gets more attractive with the higher price. But most players are mainly interested in the special price. Therefore, I highly recommend to always compare the two chests being offered. Often the cheaper chest has a higher relative chance to win a special price. Some players might be interested especially in one of the golden chests as it contains event buildings from last year's carnival event. Renaissance Villa, Renaissance Mansion and Venice Canal. You can buy both tickets and florins with diamonds. As the grand prices change every six hours, the interesting rewards are all offered multiple times. The Piazza Mask Vendor is already the reward for completing Quest 5. You only need 9 more special prizes to have a complete set on level 2. For completing the quest line, you will receive a Piazza Selection Kit. This allows you to pick an item of your choice. This helps a lot to get the possibly last missing set building. Therefore, it would be good to receive 8 special prizes from the chests. You should pay attention to not pick a second one of an item that you already own before you completed your set. As the calculation proves, an active player will receive a minimum of 19,200 florins, even if he or she decides for the knock of the luckers all the time. You will have to spend an average of 2,298 florins to get a special price. You can improve this by always deciding for the better chest. But even if you always pick a random chest, you should still receive 8 or 3 special prices. Taking the better chest always will provide some compensation for inactive days or bad luck series when opening chests. Chances are very good that in the end every player will have a complete set on level 2. On a 5x5 five five floor size, the set on level 2 will provide more population than a residential building of the same size, a lot of happiness, coins, supplies and medals every day, 16 goods from the age of the related set building, 8 forge points, a production bonus of 11% for both coins and supplies, 8% city defense and 7% attack bonus. This is an impressive mix of all bonuses this game knows. With a little luck when playing or opening chests, you will be able to get even more set buildings. And as a set is very good, many will try this. The set is a great motivation to be very active in this event. Good luck everybody!